Alright, so this is one of those problems that I'm just throwing in here for the first time. Because what I found last year is when we did, I gave people problems like this and I said, find some. And they were like, um, so I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how to do this stuff. This is stupid. Unity does not how to do this, so I don't know how to do this. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm going to show you how to do this so that when it comes time for you to know how to do this on the test or anything of that sort, you already know how to do it. So with this one, we're going to find the sum of the first 25 terms of the arithmetic sequence 7, 19, 31, 43. Now, what is the difference between this one, this example, and example 7? What is the difference? So we have an A1, so let's go and use this formula again. Let's write that down, write the formula down. We don't change our formula, we don't do anything differently here with that. Oops, <laughs> I did change the formula, my bad. Let's put the correct A's in here. <laughs> All right, so we know our A1, you know this is A17. A1. We know our n is 25. This is the term that we're looking for. But what is our n a a n? What's our last term of the sequence? I don't know. I don't know what that is back there. What is our a n? Hmm. That's what we gotta find then. Before we can even find the sum, we have to figure out a n, and then we can find the sum. And this is one of those great type of problems that, that they like to go into the like different places and different things because you have to do multiple things to solve this problem. It's not just plug it in and get an answer. Bam! They don't like doing that. I don't like really like giving you guys problems like that because I want you to think on it. So with this, you're gonna have to figure out how do we find a n. What have we done in the past? past lessons that we have found an A in. Hmm. What have we done in the past that we have found A in? Well, let's go back to that formula that we had earlier that had A in in it. And maybe we can do something with this to be able to figure out what a n is. And then we can go ahead and find out what s n is. So we're going to have to find a n. And we're going to use this formula for it. Yay! Glory God. Alright, so a n, we don't know what that is at all. But we do know what n is. We know n equals 25. We know a 1 is 7. And we should be able to figure out a common difference for this. Let's see. So 7 to 19, 19 to 31, and 31 to 43. So is anybody else seeing like maybe you add 12 to each one of those to get to the next one? Maybe, maybe. So if you add 12 to 7, you get 19. If you add 12 to 19, you get 31. If you add 12 to 31, you get 43. So yeah, common difference of 12. Okay, so that's your common difference. Then let's go ahead and fill it in and find our A1. Oh, it's our A1, our A in. So that's A25 there, because N is 25. A1 is 7. Our n is 25 again, minus 1. And our common difference is 12. Okay, and again, we need to solve this out or work this out. So let's go ahead and do that bad boy. So here we get 24 times 12. So that's 48. That's 48 with 24. So that's 288. Alright, so just check me there, make sure I did that right. 
24 times set 12, does that equal 88? That's sorry, 288, not 188, not 88. So let's just try that again, 24 times 12. Go me, go me, did it in my head, uh-huh, did it in my head, uh-huh, did it in my head. All right, so let's go ahead and just add 7 to that, and that gives us what 825 is. All right, so 7 and 8 is 15. So that'd be 295. Okay, so we found what a n is. We found what a n is now. So all we have to do is now use that a n that we found into that problem with our a1 and our n, and we can find our answer. Woo, answer. Ooh, answer. Right. So let's go ahead and do our answer. So we know in, well, let's, let's write the formula for you one more time. Okay, so a in, uh, in, we said again, was um, 25. A1 was 7. So our AM we said was um, 295. We're going to combine like terms here inside our parentheses. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Parentheses first. So if we add that together, what would that give us? 302, right? Excellent. So most people are like, let's put the calculator and get done with our infraction. Doesn't that cross out? And doesn't that give us like 151, 151? Because half of 30 is 15 and half of 2 is 1. So isn't that 151? Last thing is just multiplying those two pieces together, and then we are done. We have completed this problem. That's not that big. Right, and that's it. And again, with this problem, we didn't have the last term in the sequence, so we had to find the last term before we could do anything else. So we found that last term, we put it into the formula, and then we found the final answer by finding the sum. And that's it, guys. That's not that bad. It's doing multiple things, but you guys are smart enough to do that. You guys are. Trust yourselves. I